standing ovation if you can help me introduce the one and only Kaleche Mumu! gold teas. The love cookies were something. Huh? A whole pack of love. Java love. Thank you so much. I love it. I am overwhelmed with the joy just seeing you guys having a good time. First of all. And I know we left it off at London Boy. Dance Hall King himself. The USAU crowd are still loading, searching. I can see them. But um, <laughs> you know, when you meet someone who you look at differently out of school, like I said, and suddenly you're thinking, hmm, kind of something, London Boy was that guy who used to appear every summer holiday, summer bunnies, are you here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some summer bunnies in the house. And for me, it was just the care. Again, I am spoiled for choice with standards. This is somebody who was always first call, just touch down where you at. Later, I understood that that just means we want a party. What was some abanis munajijua? We just want to have a good time. We have no plans beyond hi, how you doing? What's the party? But he used to dance. I loved it. Would hang out. He was kind. He was nice. And I thought this one. One day, if only I could. Because I felt like he was... You know, you meet a guy who's too hot for you. A chick who's just... Hey, who you? <laughs> He's over here and I'm over here. So, that distance, we're not sure whether we can match it. That was London Boy. So, London Boy was in and out. So, I had the first opportunity to visit London in 2013. And when I got, you know, the opportunity, I was going for a friend's birthday, her 40th. And... You know, I tell London boy, hey, I'm finally coming, you know, that side. He's like, fantastic. What are your dates? Land when? How long? No, 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 that's too short. Add another week. You know, all right? This, add another week. Yeah, I got you. Add another week. You must visit. We must go to Manchester. We must, we must, we must. London boy, right? Add the week. Go and make up a story why you'll be away for so long from the office. Made up the story. London, here we come. Enjoyed the birthday party. London boy, I'm done with birthday. What's up? I'm coming for you. And let me tell you, it was a beautiful experience. We went up to Manchester to visit his um, sister and her family. And, you know... I was uh, given my own room. Like, there was no weirdness. And this is what I used to like about London Boy. He never crossed the line, ever. He was respectful. He was, you know, because at the time I'm thinking, okay, you have gone to the Manchester. You don't know where you are sleeping. And remember the voice. You get pregnant before you get married. Where? So I'm like, no, no. And we go, and it's great. Me? I'm in love. I have fought. I mean, he's paid for me to now leave London, go to Manchester. We are enjoying ourselves. Everything is looking great. He, I, he took me shopping to the high-end stores. Man, I have another polo bag. Polo the brand, not polo. I don't know for what. Najola, he's sitting on a polo. Yeah, that guy. You know, he got me designer stuff because he was that kind of a guy. I mean, I'm thinking, way, 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 way. We have arrived. 
this is so good. Have a great time. Almost missed my flight back because we were partying in Manchester. I have to get back to Heathrow because I booked through Heathrow before I decided to add weeks and then come back. And I'm telling you, when I came back, we were talking constantly. This is a person who was, to me, speaking into my life. Talking about, no, 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 you need to do this if the office is giving you this. You know, that kind of advice that you really feel this person cares about me. And I had no doubts that he cared about me. And soon enough, we're thinking, that was around, I'd gone around Easter. We're thinking, hmm, you're coming for summer, okay. Then after that, I have to come. He comes for summer. He's very busy, suddenly. Busy, 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 busy. So I don't get to see him. But then the next thing now, me, I'm thinking, oh, okay, if you're that busy, when you go back, me, I'm coming. We plan everything. I'm about to swipe the card because I don't got the money for a flight to London two times in one year. Muteja wanambari uliopiga, hapatikani kwa sasa. We had planned everything. Now I'm just saying, okay, so this date or this date, mteja wanambari uliopiga. In the British version. The number you're calling is not available right now, whatever the British say. Yo. I'm like, Allah. WhatsApp, when you send a WhatsApp message and somebody has blocked you, you know their picture disappears. Me, I had never seen this because I had never been blocked up until this time. I had never been blocked in my life. So I wasn't understanding what has happened. Why am I not seeing this guy's photo anymore? Why, why am I getting one tick? Until one of my friends told me, that's what happens when you're blocked. Heartache, confusion, anger. I was so angry. I'm like, if you didn't want me to come, why were you rolling with the, the plan? Why were you giving it that whole vibe of this is where you're, what we're going to do, this is what's happening? Why? And he had a son, and you know, I'd met the son from the day the son was born, and his son would come and visit when they come for summer. You know, I knew. So he had even made plans that, okay, I'm the one who's been with the kid now, so I'm going to organize for the child to go and stay with the mom. So that when you come, we get to hang out. All of that, then you block me? Not an explanation? Nothing? And this is someone who I've known since we were in campus, is friends of friends of friends. Nobody could answer me. Nobody could say what happened. Silence. Kalecha picks herself up again and says, I am never, ever going to date again. I don't want love again. I keep you looking. Don't go looking for trouble. I keep it painful.